Hello and welcome to Gaming View and today we are checking out Anodyne 2 on the Nintendo Switch more specifically we are running on the Nintendo Switch Lite so uh, this is uh, what's been described as a spiritual successor to the first one and um, by that they mean it's just a completely different way to play the game plus new characters and, and everything so the first one was a top down uh, puzzle type game and this one you've got this 3d environment to uh, wander around in but then you get into these uh, characters and then they provide the 2d top down so there are similarities between the first one and this one so we've got to do that and then we'll load into our world now once you've done this opening level, it does uh, go into a, uh, a a larger open world cityscape type thing, and it's not it's not too bad. I've enjoyed my time with this game so far, especially these little bits where it's like um, uh, it's kind of like the, the little puzzle elements of it. You got to get to the end. You got checkpoints. Suck up, you've got a little hoover thing which you can suck up bricks. Solve puzzles and get to the end. And that is our goal right there. It does look good, obviously, the, the graphics are basic, um, but it's basic with a purpose, so uh, it does look good and runs very well kind of reminds me of uh, an early playstation 1 game or a dreamcast game can jump double jump We got to, uh, I think there's three of these which we've got to get to. And it kind of teaches you, each one teaches you more. So that last one taught you how to move the blocks. This one teaches you, uh, might introduce enemies possibly. Yeah. I do like the, uh, the gentle sounds. Oh, it's reset. And we get to the end and we found Whatever it is we were going to find, whatever that is, some sort of seed. Now, when when you first start, it does actually come up with a little message from the developer saying uh, it's a spiritual successor. Um, you might find things weird at times, but uh, basically it's all part of the, the, the world, the weirdness. I mean, the characters are weird already. These weird beings which you go into and... Uh, yeah, it's just all kinds of weirdness. These things. Yoke figures. I do like the transitions, so they are pretty good. And go from 2D to 3D, again, it's quite, quite good. And these, these segments definitely uh, have reminiscence of the first uh, game. Multiple paths here. Okay, 
Okay. The game is on sale at the moment, but I'm not sure whether I would pay the asking price for it. I need to play more of it to uh, to have more of a judgment on it. But it's definitely worth um, worth a shot if you're a fan of the first one. Um, it's worth a shot, or if it goes on sale for like half price, that sort of thing. It's definitely worth a shot. It's it's keeping me coming back to to it playing it more. This is the very beginning of the game, so I'm not wanting to show any spoilers or anything like that. So once we've done those three, we head up here. We've got a save point there. And then this is where we move into the um, to the big cityscape. So we'll leave it there. So Anodyne 2 running on the Nintendo Switch Lite. Running very well, looks very good. Playing very well. Whether it's worth the price or not, I guess that's down to value of, of your own uh, feelings. But that I I would recommend definitely wait for a sale for this one. It's it's definitely good. It's not um, it's not like a, a, a little throwaway game. It keeps me coming back, uh, playing it more. But uh, but yeah. So there we are. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you again.